All right, this example in California is pretty cool, I think. It's a long straight line, and it is in the vicinity of this thing called the, uh, the Walker Lane Fault System. And the thing we'll be looking at is uh, m more like over here, so it's not exactly along this uh, Walker Lane Fault. Um, but I guess it's a fault system, and um, this long line is uh, very precise and mechanical looking in some places, and uh, kind of has some variety along this long, perfectly straight path, and I would reiterate uh, perfectly straight on this particular example. It's really just a, uh, a 20 mile perfectly straight line. So, um, yeah, that's this thumbnail. I don't remember where this one is, but uh, who cares? Anyways, um, all right, so, uh, and then the San Andreas Fault, of course, goes more along the west coast of California. And the idea is, um, I'm hypothesizing that both of them are false or fake, <laughs> um, or a combination of fake and real or artificial and natural. But there's, I think there's definitely some artificial component to it. So let's, oh, and, uh, just for reference here is the San Andreas Fault, and you see the machine precision straightness of portions of it. Just the, uh, the very, very straight, almost razor sharp edges to uh, portions of it. And then, of course, the more natural meandering look to it. But uh, given the surrounding landscape and um, just the scale and scope of it, I'm saying the whole fault system, both San Andreas and this Walker Lane deal are likely uh, phony, um, you know, part of this whole deal. So, excuse me, let's go to Google Maps and here's California and this Walker Lane fault thingy is... Let's see, where's Black Rock? I think it starts... I'm not sure if I've already covered this in Google Earth, or I mean in my videos already, but uh, here's this line. See, not looking very natural there or there. It's just a very long line. And I suppose I could cover every uh, every square inch of it, but uh, and then also these lines uh, across in the general area. And of course, we have roads and stuff too, which needs to be considered. But uh, when you zoom out slowly, you see this this dark streak here. It's just like a perfectly straight uh, line. <laughs> Um, and so what, you might object or inquire. Um, so what is Earth's surface may be contrived rather than naturally evolving or a combination of both, <clears throat> perhaps. And it's not just one straight line, there's like a parallel faint component to it, like here it's looking a little bit wider, and then uh, when you look at it from afar, far enough away, it's like just a perfectly straight um, feature. And it is about, I think, 20 miles if I was remembering correctly, because there's more of it here. Um, yeah, no, no, 
no real need to show you the entire thing, but, uh, and of course stuff like this, ah, that might be a road, I take that back. <clears throat> And kind of lose it for a minute. But I think it continues, yeah, way down here. So I encourage you to go look at this one yourself and make up your own mind. Or don't make it up, just ask good questions. So possible. Cartoonish river, even here, potentially. But, uh, yep, just a very long, straight thing, which may be a fault, I admit, but I don't think so. Um, let me show you some stuff in the surrounding area up here in California, like up here by, uh, where is it? Pyramid Lake. Oh, I guess it's in Nevada. But this area looks similar to the surrounding area of the San Andreas Fault. Just kind of the lumpy, bumpy, wavy, and then these paths. Uh, or, um, yeah, I, I can't really think of a better word than path of some kind and the whole area looking potentially worked over. And I honestly don't care to demonstrate that now because, like right this second, just because my videos are already a little bit too long anyways. This is the uh, Coho Volcanic Field and obviously some mining stuff. Uh, I did want to point out um, these long straight creases and like here, here's almost similar to uh, in Mauritania. Some of the, the weirdness there, the long straight lines going up the hillsides. Uh, possible thing there. Uh, so it's as if something is just zipping around, driving around, so to speak, um, sculpting the landscape and here, he's looking fairly regular, kind of. Um, here, this guy, kind of straight. What else? I guess I saw some good ones around here. Maybe this. So this is the idea. This, this line here, it's kind of faint, but you know, are we talking about a road here or, and it seems to like go out like that and many, uh, many paths like that in the area. So the idea is the whole area was crisscrossed um, with some type of high technology. And again, some of this could be geological layers or volcanic patterning. Uh, it is a volcanic field, apparently, although I rather suspect that branding is um, used strategically to get us thinking about certain areas in certain ways and um, trying to prevent us from seeing the, the truth of the matter. Let's see, even this like straight thing. Too many straight paths, in my opinion. Like this I could see being like ribboning or geological something, possibly. All right, I don't think I wanna do too much here. Just enough to demonstrate the point. Like see this, just like a path like a clean bare spot, like a linear bare spot, or linear gap as I called it in a previous video. Uh, what? 
Yeah, pretty faint, but it is something. Lots of faint straight lines. And this is, again, in um, along this Walker Lane Fault area of California by this very long straight line, which is pretty darn straight and not likely a fault if you ask me. Industrial work, maybe. I mean, if you follow it closely the whole way, it's too wide and it varies too much. Like in some spots, it's like mechanically straight and very thin. And then in, in other spots, it's wide, um, like here. So I don't know that it fits the bill for just one vehicle doing a, like one modern vehicle doing a pass. Um, so anyways, um, that is that in California. Okay, let's check out these examples, these further examples in Bolivia, Brazil, Brazil, and uh, it's Ukraine, actually, not Russia. Uh, but Bolivia, the general idea is just some, <laughs> well, straight lines, as you might guess. Brazil, just wanted to show this example on this little island at the mouth of the Amazon, uh, and it's all cut up with these, um, or marked up with these straight lines, and blah blah. So let's go over to Google Earth Pro, and here we are in Bolivia. Here we have this lake, Lake Pupo, and then in this general area we have, um, I'm not quite sure exactly where that still image was, but it's just these lines uh, marking up the whole area, so like this groove. Mm, I can't really say that looks like drainage. Could be transportation. Could be a former tractor path or whatever. I mean, in previous videos, I've pretty pretty much covered most of the primary uh, possibilities that these lines and markings could be. So I don't know if I need to explain too much of it, just gonna show it, like stuff like this even, and this looking like maybe something modern, maybe not, I don't know, it's pretty clear, or pretty clean, um, certainly, there's probably some oil and industrial stuff going on in the area, etc, etc, and yeah, if you look pretty much, this might be where that still image was. Pretty much anywhere in this whole area, there's these faint indications of straight lines like here and here and this. Right there is what I mean. And then there and more and more and more and more and more. And dredging, oil exploration, any number of things, blah, blah, blah. Or resurfacing of some kind. Possible old grid crap here, maybe not. And the whole landscape as well, potentially. And then up north a little more. So you've got these um, areas of land that are all, this isn't the best example, but kind of like a stone circle here, like these patchy, here we go, patchy terraced or pseudo terraced hillside thingies that I've shown quite a bit of. Uh, these fairly parallel lines here, and then what's another thing nearby? Uh, I'm looking for some of these straight lines nearby, like here of course, and human activity, so I mean, 
tough to say how much of this is modern, but there's lots of lines. Menu, uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is pretty interesting. See how razor sharp or linear this edge appears to be on this uh, little outcrop of hillside or mountainside here. And this is looking rocky to me, unless I'm mistaken. This, I could see this being modern. It would surprise me if it's not. But this right here is looking more like some kind some type of earthworks or large-scale thingamajig going on. Let me measure this real quick. So, I mean, 60 feet or like, you know, 150 feet um, by, I don't know, a thousand feet or something. And It looks a little, even for like a heavy earth mover or something, it looks a little too heavy duty. Uh, just like, even here, like these edges of these brush stroke or streak marks uh, or maneuvers. So, off topic again, but then we do see these lines here, the, more of the straight lines like in the still image. and. Yeah, so I'm saying this whole rocky area looks like it has been sculpted. Certainly this. With the other edge, or an other edge over here. And hopefully that's enough, and I should probably move on anyways, for time's sake. But stuff like this, this line here. Too many lines. Too many lines. Possible mining operation here, but I don't know. Lots of lines. Okay. Modern activity. I know, I know, I know. Other stuff as well, though, in addition. So, let's uh, leave that behind. and Let's go to the mouth of the Amazon River over here in Brazil. So, up on this island, whatever it's called, uh, what is this called? I don't know. Who cares? This island at the mouth of the Amazon. Uh, the general idea is that it's covered in lines. Big surprise. And let's check this one out. So it's pretty faint there, but uh, here we see something like an angular thing going on. Continuing into the trees. And we'll see a lot more. A lot of it's very, very faint in this area. That's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to show this as an example. Um, just because not everything that's part of this is going to jump right out at you. I just want to make that point. Um, possible lines and angles and... Awkward river tra trajectories here, like this, uh, even that, um, okay, we just hit all these place marks, and another long line, many lines, so this, obviously some of these could be foot trails and stuff, um, dirt roads and all that. It's just there's too many little uh, path, path-like things. These, these, like these. Pipes? I don't know. And here continuing, not looking like a navigation channel to me. Dirt road, trail, maybe, but it goes right across the river. Even stuff like this here. 
just looking more well defined, possibly recent, maybe not, but certainly straight. And yeah, again, the same idea of just lines and lines and lines. So try and bounce out of here fairly quickly just because this topic is kind of getting to a saturation point. What was the other one? So you can actually see several faint lines here. You can really pick out any one and it's like parallel working over of the whole area and not completely parallel but just some type of contrived mechanical pa pattern or path. Even this right here. Lots of paths and lines. See? Former river edge? Maybe in some cases, not in others. I'm just plucking out examples at random here because there's a lot of them. Here's another. Perhaps. Well, perhaps. Very long, perfectly straight line. I think this is where the still image was. So, oil and natural gas exploration, maybe any number of industrial purposes, maybe. But you see this long path continuing on a large scale dirt road. Could be. It's a little, I mean, yeah, I guess. There's more. Many additional. See, this right here is more like along the lines of what I think a dirt, I think of when I see it, or when I think of a dirt road. Like just kind of going with the terrain, but something like this is just like dead straight. And certainly not beyond our modern capabilities, but. Uh, suspicious to my eye, plenty of little straight things everywhere, and angles and stuff. Okay. These channels even, perhaps. Alright, that's enough of that. Um, in Brazil, this other spot where I've already showed you multiple times, uh, this place up here with the kind of tick mark things, yeah, right here. So these are naturally straight, in my opinion, qualifying as a long straight-ish line that starts and stops, some type of path, derp, derp and many offshoots and uh, additional features, even like these faint subtle like chick, 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 things like that, potentially, potentially. And then more, just more of it. See this awkwardly straight or <clears throat> regular groove, and this one meandering more. So again, it's the hodgepodge theory, just lots of, lots of uh, miscellaneous patterns, some looking organic, some looking straight, all servicing some goobery agenda. Okay, that's enough of this area because I've already showed it in previous videos. Um, and then I had a still image over here in Ukraine, if I even know where that is. So, yeah, we've already checked out this area pretty thoroughly. These um, long straight channels and edges and the still image I had was right here, um, I believe. Actually, there's multiple of them. Actually, I think, yeah, right here, I think. <laughs> but many, many edges, many straight edges and paths. And they don't all look like navigation channels to me or power lines. It's just kind of 
nice crisp little straight patterns. And many of those in the area, even like this stuff, or er, 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 some of that potentially being natural, or I mean modern exploration, or uh, whatever, surveying, whatever, and any number of industrial things. Here's another long straight feature, and this area looking cleared. Mm, I think, honestly, I could probably show some more stuff, but since I've already showed this area, I will um, leave it here, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.